Grace Kelly is a song by the British singer Mika, released for download on 9 January 2007. It also appears on Mika's 2007 album Life in Cartoon Motion. Produced and mixed by Greg Wells, the song entered the UK singles chart at number 3 and the UK official download chart at number 1. One week later, it jumped to the top of the UK singles chart. The track was number 1 on the UK singles chart for 5 weeks, and ended 2007 as the year's third biggest selling single in that country. In the US, Grace Kelly was made available for digital download on the 16th of January 2007. This song was also 89 on MTV Asia's list of top 100 hits of 2007. It was designed to be a mocking satire of musicians who try to reinvent themselves to be popular. The song is titled after Academy Award-winning American film and stage actress, and Princess of Monaco, Grace Kelly. The bit of dialogue used in the song is from the film The Country Girl. Mika claims the song was inspired after a bad experience with a record company executive, in which he was told to be more like Craig David. The lyric So I Try a Little Freddy is a reference to Queen's Freddie Mercury, to whose singing voice Mika's has been compared. On at least one occasion, Mika confirmed that he used the main melody from Figaro's famous aria Largo al Factotum in the opera The Barber of Seville by Joe Chino Rossini. Mika performed the song at the MTV Europe Music Awards 2007 in Munich, and at the 2008 Brit Awards at the Earl's Court Exhibition Centre, London where it was nominated for Best British Single. The song has sold 604,000 copies in the UK as stated by the official charts company. Background and composition. The comparisons to Freddie Mercury are fine. They started long before I made the record. I've even referred to it in Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly was written after these musicians were trying to mold me into what I should be. I was really angry and so I wrote the song and mailed them the lyrics. They didn't call me back, but two years later it's come full circle. Mika says in an interview on BBC, Mika wrote the song after he felt frustrated with record label executives that wanted him to change his sound to fit the common pop mold. In the song, Mika points out how he can pretend to be anyone he likes to win approval, in this case the glamorous actress Grace Kelly. He wrote the song after the record company told him that they wanted to model his look and sound on Craig David, who was popular at the time in the UK. Mika rejected this idea and wrote Grace Kelly as a way of expressing his individuality. The song's melody is based on the aria Largo al Factotum in the opera The Barber of Seville by Joe Chino Rossini. Critical Reception The song received positive reviews from music critics. Heather Fares from Al Music wrote a positive review for the song, stating that Mika's singles are his most charming moments, including the instant sunshine of Grace Kelly, which crams tap dancing rhythms, filmic dialogue, Elton's pianos, Freddie's vocal harmonies, and Brian May's guitars into just over three minutes. Christian John Wickane from Pop Matters wrote an extensive article about the comparisons between Mika and Freddie Mercury, writing that he sounds a lot like Mercury and wears the influence like a badge of honor, even name-checking the late front man of Queen in the first verse. Mika vacillates between the affected theatricality of Mercury's full-throttled voice and his own strong falsetto, where he earnestly implores why don't you like me, no less than 12 times. Beth Johnson from Entertainment Weekly wrote that nothing quite matches the crystal-shattering exuberance of hit Grace Kelly. John Murphy from Musicom wrote that it's big, joyous, dumb pop, and the only danger with it is that you will be utterly sick of it fast. Lizzie and Ever from BBC Music was direct, writing that Grace Kelly is a great pop song, it's catchy, you can't help singing along and it grates on you after a few days when you can't get it out of your head but you still go back for more. Flawless Credentials. Graham Griffith, also from About.com, wrote that the song is an outrageously irresistible and infectious pop gem. Dom Passantino from Stylus Magazine criticized the track, writing that it seems to suggest the boy has some level for musicals, being as it is all Broadway flittering and hackneyed attempts at conveying a story with its lyrics. But here's the problem, he's got no tales to tell, just a tab at his local makeup supplier. Am I too dirty? Am I too flirty? He sings at one point. Accolades. At the 2007 World Music Awards, Mika won for Best Selling British Artist, Best Selling New Artist, Best Selling Male Entertainer, and World's Best Selling Pop Rock Male Artist. Live Performances and Covers. Top 50 Contestant of American Idol, Josiah Leeming performed a rendition of the song in Hollywood for the judges, which received great praise. A version by Mika appears on the 2007 compilation album, The Saturday Sessions, The Dermot O'Leary Show. Mika performed this song on Series 4 Episode 3 of The Friday Night Project on the 19th of January 2007. James Nesbitt was the host that night. The Whiff and Poofs performed the song on the Sing-Off on the 6th of December 2010.
Parodies Rory Bremner recorded a parody version to illustrate the problems of UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown. Scott Mills impersonated Mika and sang lyrics of the song in a prank call to a real estate agency. Appears in The Hills, Ugly Betty, a Turkish Coca-Cola advertisement, an Israeli advertisement of Miss Dar Zihoy, a trailer for Disney Cinemagic, a trailer for I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, a trailer for The Ugly Truth, the 1996 episode of Silent Witness Lost Child as a 27-year-old transforms himself into a schoolboy. An advertisement for neighbors. What happens in Vegas? Dead set. Doctor Who. The Pirate Loop. The Sarah Jane Adventures episode. The Mark of the Berserker. An episode of Celebrity Big Brother. An advertisement of Confessions of a Shopaholic. Fall 2007 episodes of Corazon de Atano. The European DS version of Band Hero. A German first season trailer for Weeds. The adult oriented Wii game We Dare. As a cover version. FC Barcelona's official video for the Ari Henri and Barca Legends series. Now that's what I call music. 66. UK series music video the music video for the song Grace Kelly was directed by Sophie Muller and starred Mika and Holly Muller the video was filmed in early November 2006 and has been nominated for numerous worldwide awards the instrumental introduction in the video is an extract of the acoustic version of the song found on certain releases of the album track listing Australian CD single Grace Kelly 308 Grace Kelly Linus loves radio edit 320 over my shoulder 444 Grace Kelly video UK CD CD single, Grace Kelly 308, Grace Kelly, Linus Loves Radio Edit, 320, Over My Shoulder 444, Limited Edition 7 Vinyl, Grace Kelly 307, Satellite 415, UK 12 Vinyl, Grace Kelly, Linus Loves Full Vocal Remix, 646, Grace Kelly, Linus Loves Dub Remix, 640, Grace Kelly, Tom Neville Full Vocal Remix, 648, Grace Kelly, Tom Neville Dub Remix, 708, Official Versions, Grace Kelly 307, Grace Kelly, Acoustic Version, 307, Grace Kelly, Bimbo Jones Remix Edit, 300, Grace Kelly, Bimbo Jones Remix, 626, Grace Kelly, Les Grandes Goyles Version, 307, Grace Kelly, Linus Loves Radio Edit, 320, Grace Kelly, Linus Loves Full Vocal Remix, 646, Grace Kelly, Linus Loves Dub Remix, 640, Grace Kelly, Pull Tiger Tail Remix, 426, Grace Kelly, Tom Neville Full Vocal Remix, 648, Grace Kelly, Tom Neville Dub Remix, 708, Chart performance. It reached number one in the United Kingdom and in Ireland. The song was only the second single ever to top the UK chart without selling a physical copy. Crazy by Gnarls Barkley was the first. In the US market, it peaked at number 57 on the Billboard Hot 100. The December 2007 Observer Music Monthly asked Mika how it felt getting to one in the UK with this song. He replied, Very unreal. It still feels unreal. It's just a song I wrote in my room. By the time I'd written, Grace Kelly, everything in my life had been called into question, trying to find out what I was going to do with my life, trying to be a musician, to be independent, to give myself the remote chance of any kind of a relationship, I was just sorting everything out in my head, that song sums it all up, it went to one on the United Kingdom, Czech Republic, Ireland, Italy, Norway and Turkey singles charts, charts and certifications, weekly charts, year-end and decade-end charts, certifications, 